Well, I admit, we're going to have to be rather efficient with this, because I got some spicy chicken in the oven right now, so I can make some snack wraps. Yep, yeah, gonna make a McDonald's-style food, you know, at home, because, you know, I can do that. It's not that hard. Um, but, yeah, cooking some spicy chicken patties, gonna cut them up and throw them on a tortilla shell with some ranch sauce, some shred lettuce, and some cheese. I'll enjoy it, but... Yeah, I kind of wish we had repels right now. I could have bought some, to be honest, but I'm just like, uh, that, that, that'll eat up time, you know. And I've only got you know like 15 some odd minutes to get in, get out. So I'm just like, they they hopefully won't be too necessary. And I guess since we're here, we'll go grab the King's Rock while we're at it. Do I strictly need it? No, but it's, it's nice to have a held item every now and again. Ah, yes. This is definitely the superior way of finding slowpokes, but I can't use them anyway, so uh, just just leave it. Now, let's see. Talk to you. Yeah, I really don't care about this moment of evolution, man. It's It just evolves into a slow bro, or the King's Rock a slow king. I can't say I particularly care for either that much. I mean, I know there's there's ways to use Slow Pro as a top tier Pokemon Gen One thanks to Amnesia, but still don't have that much of a, a soft spot for it. Because I never really did Gen One battling, you know, competitively, and I probably never will. Because I really don't care for competitive play in most games, or really any games. Yeah, we'll, we'll use that later. For now, I just want to get in and get out, because we also need to go, you know, pick up, you know, our little bird friend, because I want to expand the team again. And we couldn't do that without having access to at least Surf. So yeah, we could have done this, you know, before we went to the fighting gym, I suppose. Uh, I'll be our little friend's not going to learn moves that'd be particularly helpful until at much higher levels, unfortunately. It takes forever to get, you know that one up to snuff. And we want a female one too, because I want to potentially breed it with a Murkrow for faint, but I have to admit that's such a long off plan that almost doesn't feel worth it, because by the time we can actually do the breeding on it, you know, it's going to be effectively, you know, post-game content. So if I do pick up faint, what would I use it on, right? I mean, I guess I could use it on Sabrina, but... That means stopping everything I'm doing to go pick up a Murkrow, which I may not be able to find until, you know, so far we'd be past Sabrina. <sighs> it's always the, the nightmarish problem when it comes to some of these runs, you know, being able to plan out a moveset that will be useful when you, you know, most need it. Oh, oh well, you know, we'll, we'll worry about the details later. For now, let's just get away from this bloody Zubat. That's why Manti's up front, well... It's because of where we need to go. Um, we need to get over to uh, the other side of this. Actually, you know what? I, I probably could have just done from there. It would have been more convenient. To be honest, um, fly back, yeah. We're flying back because I, was, I wasn't thinking my plan all the way through. Because um, we need to get into that cave system and go to the bottom. Yeah, Union Cave is actually connected back to the ruins of Alf and where we need to go. Okay, got past him, all right. Sweet. Ah, darn it. I got found by a random Pokemon. Well, if it was a high-level Geodude, I would so crush it right now, but it isn't, so we're not gonna bother. Just, just leave it. No one cares. It, it ain't worth the time and effort. Again, come back when you're, like, level 25. Then, then I can spare a moment to wipe you out real quick with a Surf Attack. Ugh. I'm surprised he didn't turn around to face us, but whatever. Admittedly, we don't need to grab this TM, but I'm just like, oh, well, it's there. Might as well grab Swift while we're at it, you know? Yes, level 8. Whoop-de-doo. Again, it's just, it's just not enough to justify itself. At least if I had Bubble, I could, you know, be like, well, it's a move about worthy of a Geodude at this point. I really don't care about to pick up the X Defend, though, but uh, we might do it anyway. 
Because I might want that at some point. Uh, who am I kidding? No, I, I don't want it. If, I, if I'm going to be using x items, it's almost always attacking items. After all, those are just way more useful. Yes, a visitor. This, you know, forgotten cave system. Yeah, 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 of course Leonardo wants the battle. Didn't think I'd run into a Ninja Turtle while down here, though. He's just wearing a disguise, you know. I guess they decided to move past the trench coats. Not a bad idea. I mean, I don't know how people didn't see through those trench coats, to be honest. They weren't that great. Eh, we'll, we'll face it. I mean, what's the worst they can do, right? Probably throw some rocks at us. Oh no, it's gonna karate chop us. <laughs> Whatever. No one cares about a karate chop. At least not when they're this powerful. And not vulnerable to it, you know. If this was a normal team, I'd probably fear the karate chop mightily. Oh no, not another random encounter. <sighs> Against a rat? Come on. Really? Gotta waste my time with a little rat. Uh, of course it's been a while. You're in the bottom of a cave system. That somehow connects back to a, a ruin that's way farther away. I'm just gonna assume, assume a Time Lord compressed the space, you know? Using their magic powers. I mean, how else would they fit, you know, so much stuff inside a TARDIS? No, let's see. I probably should rearrange my moveset at some point. But whatever, we don't really need that for uh, this battle. Now that we're on Surf, we'll stay on it, because this guy's got nothing but rocks. Come on, just another one. And it's gone. And that leaves Graveler, so at least we'll uh, work our way towards our next level. Level 22. Philip. Hmm. Sounds like the name of a prince, to be honest. But, you know, whatever. Not that important right now. We just gotta clean house and get past him. Well, we're about halfway there. Erg. What, you lose the ability to speak? Oh no. Yes, this is a very strange place. Mostly because it's out in the middle of nowhere. But this is where we can find a psychic bird, so you know, we had to come out here. Oh no, it's a giraffe rig! Well, um, surf, yeah. That's not gonna mess me up, man. I'm using powerful special attacks here. Oh sweet, a critical hit. Oh no! My, my day just got ruined, I'm confused! Don't hurt yourself, man! Yes, we won! Oh man, we're, we're so close! I can almost taste it! Well, let's get to the bird hunting, I suppose. And let's uh, switch this out. Obviously, if we're looking for a little bird, we want to use sulfur. After all, I need to be able to sleep powder it to make it a little bit easier to catch. Now, let's see. Oh, first try, but is it female? No, it's male. Well, unfortunately, that means you're not wanted. I want a female one, you know, for breeding. Even if we may never actually, uh, do the breeding, I still want a female one for it. Okay, found another one, so they're pretty common out here at least. There we go. Level 20 and female. Perfect. Okay, let's throw a, a confusion at it. It should resist it, so we can't knock it out too easily. I mean, I have to weaken it, right? Okay, that's good enough. Oh, Nightshade, huh? Well, that could come in handy, actually. We 
could use that to try and weaken um, Steelix. Um, after all, it does damage based on its levels, so there is, you know, options there at least. Maybe I should have caught one of these uh, a bit sooner. Then again, the earliest I could have caught is after we uh, beat the Kimono Girls and got Surf. So I didn't miss out on too much. Yes, it's a little bird, all right. Well... Hmm... I don't know. I mean, it's green, but I can't think of anyone with green hair besides Deku right now. Gosh darn it. Um... And Totem would be lame, because that just describes what it turns into. Jeez. Well, it's got some pink on its feathers, so I guess we'll go with, a uh, Sakura. Why not? I mean, it doesn't really... It's not really the most fitting of names, but... It's one I throw around quite a bit, because Cherry Blossoms, why not? Well, boom. And yeah, we got a puzzle over here if we want, want to unleash the first of the unowns, but... I don't need to awaken them, so I won't. That's a terrible plan, anyway. Well, next time we'll go after our next gym leader. Though we might have to do a little grinding first, because if we're going to rely on Natu's uh, Nightshade, we're going to want to be, you know, a bit higher in level first. Until next time, then. See ya.